Hello. I'm falling off the boat. Overpriced Apple iPhone case. So these are the sound link and I probably need to clean you because I haven't used you in years. Also considering redoing my desk setup a little bit, just making it another vlog today is going to be jam-packed because i am having lunch with one of my good friends megan and we're going to go to a restaurant that i've never been to before which i'm excited about and then afterwards i'm going to be hanging out with a fellow youtuber who i've been following for such a long time um, her name is taylor Wynn, and i will link her channel down below so hopefully i can get some good footage of that um and that's pretty much it i did um cave and finally get the iphone 13 pro max and so far i don't really notice <laughs> any difference which is like what kind of what i ex expected but i have played with the cinematic mode um and i made a reel out of it and it was gorgeous so maybe there's some benefit to that it might be good for vlogging on the go without taking the vlogging camera though I, you know i love a good vlogging camera so we'll see i don't know yeah, so I'm excited. I There are a couple things I want to try on. I want to try on a trench coat and I wanted, what else did I want to look at? I wanted to look at a Mont Blanc pin, um, a rose gold one specifically. It's not really made of rose gold, but um, it has some rose gold tones to it. And it's a fountain pen because I'm super into fountain pens. Like I've just discovered them and I don't know why, but they never worked for me before. And I just finally figured it out, like how to write with them and how they work. And my handwriting is so much better. I didn't have bad, bad handwriting before, but now with these two fountain pens, like, oh my God, that's all I want to write with. It's, it's all I want to write with. So these are both Twisby, which are very affordable, like starter um, fountain pens. And I'm very happy with them. I don't really feel the need to change, but I thought I would check it out. Cause this one is white and rose gold and this is the mini and I freaking love it. So might not be worth at all getting a Mont Blanc, but I do have other Mont Blanc pens. I don't know if you know this, but I'm, I've always sort of loved pens, right? And I actually also have, where are you? Are you here? Where are you? My Lamy Safari? Yeah, here you are. Probably need to clean you because I haven't used you in years. Um, thankfully you're empty. So that's holds out hope for you. But this is the Lamy Safari, so I should probably clean and fill this one up. I use Noodler's ink. But then the other Mont Blanc pens that I have are these guys. Now this one I got when I was a medical student and I was inspired by a cardiologist that I was on a rotation with. And I, she would do rounds. She always had this in her pen coat pocket. They don't make this anymore, which is why I'm super happy that I grabbed it like all those years ago. And it's kind of special because it has my maiden name engraved on it because I was not in, I was not married yet. Um, so it just twists off and unfortunately none of these are fountain pens. They're all rollerball. Actually, I think one of them is a ballpoint. I think this one is ballpoint and this one is rollerball. This was a special one. This has, they're all engraved with my name on it, but this one is a snake pen. I thought it was super cool. It has like green eyes on a really slim, like burnt orange barrel. And it's just sort of very like retro looking, which I liked. It's kind of cool. Anyway, and so this one is a twist. Oops, I always do this the wrong way. So that is ballpoint, I believe. And then this one is green. Of course, you know my love of green. I bought this years ago, even before the current green obsession. And as always, is engraved with my name on it. So those are, and this is in a, what is this? Leather... I have used this for so many years. Leatherology, yeah. Leatherology I use for a lot of things. Leather, like this mouse pad, this big desk pad is leatherology. These coasters are leatherology. I just love everything they do. Also considering redoing my desk setup a little bit, just making it a little bit more sleek, like putting the monitor on like a mounting arm. Um, I desperately need new headphones. My headphones are falling apart and just making sort of organizing everything to sort of be like seamless i've watched a lot of desk setup videos that are like silent and they always have like captions and they're usually by like these like amazingly aesthetic um korean channels that are 
or Japanese channels. I'm just, I love everything that they come up with. So I am very inspired to do that. Not that I need to, but I kind of want to. I don't know, I can make a video out of it. My justification is in full effect. I was considering putting a bed in here because we still don't have, because I'm using this space, I kind of feel bad about like hogging it. So I kind of want to put a bed, a twin bed in here, but then I'm trying to figure out where I would put that shelf that has like my camera equipment and stuff on it, which is where I moved it recently. So yeah, just sort of figuring everything out. Um, I'm in sort of a shifting mode. I want to shift things around. I want to clean up my bathroom. My bathroom counter is atrocious. It's full, full, and it's a big counter. So it just, it just has accumulated clutter that I just have not put away. And so I just need to go through and just like clean everything off. Everything, everything needs to go. Um, so there's that, there's a lot of things to do, but I'm not gonna do that bathroom thing until next week. I'm, I've got a busy day today with social events. I'm so excited. I'm like, yours truly is never social. So I made it a point this week to really like put down on my planner and like make concrete plans with my friends. Also, my best friend Tracy is coming over and we're gonna film a video tomorrow, which I hope you'll be excited about because it's about a topic that I've never really talked much about before, but I think hopefully if it helps one person, it's worth it. Um, so yeah, so I've got my, uh, what am I wearing? I've got my um, Lindsay Lee Jewelry cross, jumbo cross necklace. I've got my Idyll Solitaire pendant in the biggie size. I've got a Cartier ring. I've got an Aurate ring and another Cartier ring here. I've got another Aurate ring right here in the gold or rose gold, I can't remember. Um, Idyll earrings here. Uh, this one is Lindsay Lee Jewelry as is this one. This one is Stevie Wren. This one is Lindsay Lee Jewelry and this one is Idyll. Makeup is just super simple. It's a blend of the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer with their new Luminous Foundation, just a squirt of that. I've had a major like eczema allergy induced eczema moment all over my skin and my eyelids. So I'm just now getting over that. So I'm really just trying to take it gently. I haven't been wearing makeup for like four days. You can hear my nose, like the, the allergies are just full blast. It's March in Houston. That's the worst for allergies. All of my kids have it, I have it. So what else? I'm using, it's downstairs, but I'm using, you know what? I should use my, I should, you know what? I'm gonna change into my Evelyn. I have my YSL shopper tote downstairs in gray, but I actually prefer the Evelyn crossbody. I'm gonna use that for shopping because Taylor and I are going shopping at the Galleria. What else? That's it. That's it. So I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so I've cleaned out the pen. It was very dirty and needed a good bath. So, you just get it dirty again by dipping it in the whole thing of black ink. It didn't do anything, cool. Is that good? There's some bubbles in there. Let's try again. It's really trying not to get this on my hands. No, there's more bubbles. Air, 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 everywhere. That got it quite dirty. It's a dirty boy again. Surprisingly, didn't get any on my fingers yet. Alright, so let's wipe this off here. Have this back on. First and possibly most important, cap this tightly. I put this in a secret place so my kids don't. 
discover it. And it writes! Yay! Good. I just need to find my noodler's ink because that's so much better than this one. I'm not really the hugest fan of this ink. Hello. <laughs> I'm here with Taylor. We're at uh, the Galleria and I'm just kind of showing her around the shopping scene. Getting the lay of the land. Getting the lay of the land. We have put in some steps. We've walked all through the Galleria and I've done a little bit of damage. I've got some Forever 21 and some Fabletics. She got me hooked onto the Fabletics thing. So I'm very excited to try. I'm very excited. We've got our Starbies and we're gonna make a loop around to Nordstrom and then see where we go from there. What the heck are you guys doing in here? Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> it's the next day and I had the, just the loveliest day yesterday. It was like, I told you kind of spent socially. So I hung out with um, Heidi's best friend's mom, who's become a good friend of mine now and hung out with Taylor Wynn on YouTube, uh, the Taylor, if you are a fan from the OG days. I have been a fan of hers for such a long time, so it was such a joy to be able to meet up with her and show her around the shopping scene in Houston. I wish I could have spent a little bit more time with her in terms of showing her some real Houston classics like the rodeo, the Space Center, but unfortunately she's only in town for a couple of days, so we spent a few hours wandering around the Galleria and just chatting, and it was very lovely. So now I'm getting ready to have um, just some work session, a work session, like just cramming whatever I can get in. I need to charge some microphones because my bestie and I are gonna make a video together for the first time ever. I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna charge up the lavalier mics. I think that's gonna be the best route. So, I'm going to dig in my tech drawer, start working on those. I'm going to do some tech unboxings, which you guys will be seeing as sort of a preview in advance of my desk setup. I've been become obsessed with watching desk setup videos on, on YouTube, and they're always done, as I mentioned, by these really cute people, very aesthetic. But... What needs to be charged first? The screen one? Oh, it's fully charged. Look at me. Okay, all right, we're good. Now, rocking and rolling with that. I thought I would show you, okay, overpriced Apple iPhone case. However, the build quality is impeccable. They have really increased the, ch the the price of these silicone. I remember when these silicone cases were like 29, maybe 39 is like the earliest I remember. Like the case, the leather cases were like 49. Now it's like 49, 69. Ridiculous. That being said, they're great quality and it definitely helps protect the camera bump. But I found this one and I'll put the link uh, to it so you can figure out the price. Um, find out the current price, but the build quality is very, I mean, it's slightly different, but exactly the same hand feel, like maybe possibly even softer. No logo, milk tea color, which I don't know if the lighting you're able to see here is giving you the vibes that I want you to see. Look at this milk tea, like bubble milk tea color. And then look at this one. You put it on your phone and it makes it like a rectangle. So freaking cool. And it has little cutouts for all of the phones. I'll show you that later. I just, I just got this one. So I just got all of them, but this one, like I've been waiting like a week for, so. This is a new voiceover microphone because my other one was about, I don't know, 10 years old probably. It's a really long time to have a, but it, I highly recommend the blue brand. That's what I have for my voiceovers. I also use Ceramonic and Shure. Um, so I'm huge fans of, I'm a huge fan of all three of those brands, but this one was just the aesthetic though. And you're resting on the next product unboxing, but. Oh! 
opens like this. Okay. We've got old USB-A to really old, I don't even know what, mini USB? That's terrible. I think this is a really old product. This needs to be USB-C blue. You might have heard of the Snowball or the Yeti. This is the Yeti. Premium multi-pattern USB microphone for gaming, streaming, or podcasting. And what I do is I hook this up to my computer and record directly in Final Cut Pro my voiceover. Very cute. Hello, hello. You can't hear me because it's not plugged in. All right. I'm going to put you down here because, oh my God, I found my like 20-year-old Swiss Army knife the other day. I have This thing has followed me around all my life. I've had this since I was a very, not little, obviously. As, as soon as you feel comfortable giving a knife to a kid responsibly and teaching them about it, probably like 12 maybe. Um, so yeah, found that. De never want to lose that. And I got some new, I'm replacing my Razer Kraken Kitty um, headphones. I've had those only a couple of years, but um, these have kind of all the same features, but better because they're like Bluetooth and it's Bose. I'm a, I'm a Bose girl. So these are the sound link and I chose these specifically too because of the aesthetic. I just want everything to go together. I'm very particular in case you hadn't noticed. I know what I want. I know what I like. All right. So these are the, I'm going to link these down below. They're the sound link and they have Bluetooth. They have control buttons on them and they are app enabled. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Look at the case. Love it. These are around the ear wireless headphones, but you can also plug them in. So if you just have run out of juice or like me, I will probably leave them plugged in because the latency is a lot better when you have them plugged in versus using Bluetooth. So I'm excited about these. I'm actually really excited about these because they were a pretty penny and I kind of thought about it and then I was like, all right, if you don't like them, just return them. But I know I'm not returning these. Oh wow, those are so comfortable. They're so much lighter than the Razer Kraken ones. And they still have a microphone, which is amazing. Okay, Tracy's here. We're going to get started on this video. Julie gets asleep. Hey girl, hey. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> at the ranch. It was hellish. <gasps> oh my God, I look like a state. Who remembers this machine? about that oh um that's for sleeping can you roll up her things and then she can expose her feet that way they don't do that thing look mm -hmm. hmm? ah, 10 minutes till breakfast Yeah, I know, but these are, these scare 
the crap out of me. I take a wasp. All right, I just charged up the car about uh, 20%, and I am going to, where is the AC on this car? Oh my God. So I'm gonna go pick up some barbecue and just some light groceries, because we're only here until tomorrow at this point, so just a little bit more milk and um, that's about it. Let's get this show. Mama's on to town. <laughs> Juliet's down for a nap. Harper is at Grandmommy and Doc's place. We're staying at the log cabin this time, which I love. And uh, we're gonna get this show on the road. See you in a little bit. I won't make it easy for you now. my time and I don't really break too easily but I'm worth it cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all I'll take it I'll take it to Mars oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break it barbecue and which is by the way such good barbecue if you're ever in Cuero, Texas uh, you need to check it out. Now I'm pulling up to the ranch after having hit up a small X barbecue and HEB and I'm told that Juliet is up now it's been about an hour and 15 minutes since I left it takes more time to really just kind of like drive in and out here because you know it's rural this is what it's like Takes a minute. You can't just run five minutes down to your local convenience store or grocery store. It's kind of a drive. So, um, put in this code. I actually ended up picking up ribs, and even though HB questioned whether that was wise, considering we were eating barbecue for lunch, I said, it's the ranch. It's barbecue day and night. <laughs> because I was so pleased with my slow cooker ribs, but they could have been a little bit more tender, a little bit more juicy. So I'm gonna try it in the oven because I don't have a slow cooker here. And I'm gonna do it like low and slow for an even longer time. Cause I did like slow cook high for four and a half hours. And I don't know, they were, I thought they were very good considering I'd never made ribs before. And the recipe was very easy and good. Um, it's, it's not hard to, make good ribs I think but they could have been a little bit more juicy tender so I'm gonna do it differently this time I'm gonna marinate them for a while sorry if that was annoying I'm gonna marinate them for a little while and then like slather them in our barbecue sauce so while HB finishes up his fellowship interviews oh look it's a line of cows look guys look at this sight cows Cows, cows, look at these cows. Look at these cows. And you see all those white faces looking at me? Because they know that's my they know that's my car. Look at all the babies. There's so many babies. Get out the way, kids. Get out the way. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Get out of the way. Thank you. Oh, someone's taking a drinky. Are you, take, are you done taking a drinky? Come on, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Watch out, little one. They're like, what are you? What are you doing? Thank you. All right, guys, it's later in the evening and I'm making dinner. Cheese pizza for the kiddos to keep it simple. And I made barbecue ribs for dinner. And 
let me tell you. This is my second time making this, so clearly I'm an expert. Obviously makes me an expert, right? This is YouTube, I've done this two times, so I'm an expert. Um, so I just did a couple of things different than I did last time in my slow cooker ribs. I made the mistake of not taking the fascia off of the back of the baby back ribs before cooking them. And I did that this time and they were significantly tender falling off the bone. I could not flip it without meat falling off of it. It's so juicy and moist. I only sprinkled salt on both sides. I dried it off, sprinkled salt, and then I did do a marinade for like an hour in the fridge because I don't know, I really don't think that's necessary. Barbecue experts would probably agree with me. It's probably completely overkill. But I thought maybe I'd let them steam in the juices in the oven. So I'm gonna put it in the cooking pot like the baking pan, roasting pan and put them meat side down bone side up and the steam like just a little bit of the residue from the marinade liquid which was did i throw that away already yeah it was the salt lick marinade it's a, like a liquid marinade a lot of worcestershire so i let it kind of steam in there and i i did it for like three and a half hours at 225 bless you and then now I did five to seven minutes of broiling after I poured on the secret ingredient, Sweet Baby Ray's. If you haven't tried this, this is the best barbecue sauce ever. And then um, just basted that on there and then broiled it. You could throw it on the grill if you wanted to. I just didn't really feel like doing that because then that's another thing to clean up. So I broiled it for five minutes and it's amazing. I'll show you. I'll show you it later. <laughs> so now let's pop this in the oven. So I'm having this. It's very good. Kind of sweet. If you don't like sweet, it's my day in a jiffy in a nutshell, and we are going to go home tomorrow morning so that HB can round. So this was like the quickest trip ever. Probably pointless, but I know my kids love it, and my husband loves it. It is good to get a change of scenery these days. My pandemic babies need need some adaptability and I think they they are very adaptable but just oh oh ma'am oh you want the iPad okay come here oh yeah you want Harper's iPad do you want Harper's iPad look, look you can be really cool and you can have it uh -huh. yeah you... what are you doing Harper where'd you come from Such a goof. You're the fastest on four legs. You're like the fastest land mammal on four legs that I've ever seen. Yeah. She's doing a good job, huh? She did it all by herself. She picked this movie. But she's not very good at keeping it on the screen. No, no, no. I got it. There you go. Y'all, where did I leave off? I don't even know at this point, but we're back home and it's Monday morning and I'm gonna get ready to do some filming and some editing. It's gonna be some major editing day today. So uh, yeah, I just got ready and I just filmed a, a reel for the get ready. Let me show it to you. Okay, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should be following me. All right, let's get this day started. Y'all, look at my new keyboard. Maybe you can see it better like this. How fun is that? I'm gonna be doing a whole like desk setup tour and stuff once I get everything else cleaned off. Um, so I will be filming that for sure. What else? Um, I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here and I will check back. I'll start another vlog right away so that you'll have some good content vlogs coming if you like the vlogs. If you like Anesthesiologist Reacts, we've got that too. If you like beauty, lifestyle, tech, why do I sound like I'm introing my channel at the very end of this video? By now you probably have already decided whether you like to follow me or not. <laughs> but anyway, um, I will check with you guys in the next video. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.